Iowa head coach Hayden Fry is the dean of Big Ten coaches. His Hawkeyes feature the twin running tandem of 255-pound power back Nick Bell and the darting cutback moves of Tony Stewart. The Hawkeyes are running the ball with authority this season. Always a challenge on the road to Pasadena are the Michigan Wolverines. This field goal in 1985 beat Michigan and clinched a Rolls Bowl berth for Iowa, their second under Fry. For 20 years, Bo Schembechler marshaled Michigan to 13 Big Ten titles and 194 victories. Now the torch has been passed to his assistant, Gary Mulder, whose brief tenure has seen the high of a number one national ranking in the depths of this controversial loss to cross-state rival Michigan State, all in the span of a week. As the Wolverines look to rebound from last week's disappointment, they look to the nation's leading rusher, number 25, John Vaughn. Today, it's Iowa and Michigan on ESPN. on hand to see their beloved Wolverines battle the Iowa Hawkeyes in Big Ten football this afternoon. Underscoring the importance of this game, the standings, Iowa in a log jam atop the Big Ten Conference. Michigan, with that loss to Michigan State, is one game behind. Well, waiting for Michigan to come out, and it looks like the Wolverines are going to be the first to uh, head onto the field here at Michigan Stadium. As I mentioned a week ago, they came out of the field as number one in the nation. And here are the Wolverines at three and two. with the approach and we're underway. Hughes back deep along with Jeff Antella and the ball hits into the end zone and Iowa MVP in basketball Matt Rogers gets the start at quarterback. He struggled a bit thus far this season. We talked about uh, the twin running backs who is the fullback Nick Bell and later on you'll see Tony Stewart in the offensive backfield. Hughes and Smith at wide receiver pretty decent speed. Titley has good athletic ability to get to the seam of the defense. Devlin up front comes from a line of Iowa centers. Agater and Belliser. Belliser's a new starter this year. Davis and Baxley are at the tackle spots. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Titley in motion. Nick Bell picking his way. He is 255 pounds. Simpson made the stop on the play. Take a look at the Michigan defense. T.J. Osmond gets the start up front of the nose guard position. Mike Evans and Chris Hutchinson, not sure how much Hutchinson will play. He's had a back problem. Dobriff and Anderson started inside linebackers. Davis and Simpson are outside. They have struggled a bit thus far this season. Dotton and Key as well have not played the way they would like. Welburn and Murray are well-decorated safeties, especially Welburn. He's an All-America. Second down. Seven, Bell gets the call again. Bell met in the hole. He wouldn't like back spasms, but it's a, a little more serious than that. And it's a type of condition that flares on him. Third down and about seven. Rogers had lots of time. Gets by Osman. Tripped up from behind. Jim Hyzak on a punt formation for Iowa. Good leverage in distance. Welburn from the 29. Made a good move to get by a defender at the 30. He's out to all punt. Sears diehard starting lineup. For the Michigan offense, Elvis Gerback, tallest quarterback ever to play at Michigan. Bunch of good blocking pullback. Vaughn leads the nation in rushing. Alexander and Howard are two fleet sophomores at wide receiver. Deep ball to solid tight end. Now the big offensive line. Elliott has moved over from guard to center to take the place of the injured Steve Everett. Dingman and Kokozo at the guards. Doring and Strepanek are dominant at the tackle positions. Gary Muller, in his first year at Michigan, his fourth year as a head coach. He was at Illinois for three years as head coach. First down for Michigan, just short of the 35. 
John Vaughn. Eddie Polly made the hit from the... Elvis Gerbeck. Vaughn again. Got a sliver of an opening into the clear. Into Iowa territory. To the 40s. On a sophomore from Florissant, Missouri. Receivers form a slot to the top of your screen. Her back off play action. Oh man, Derek Alexander took quite a pop from Merton Hanks. Inside the 45, near the 43 yard line, gain of about four yards. The Iowa defense, Rod Davis gets the start up front, a tough nose tackle. Rulin and Johnson, Johnson in all preseason all America. Santos and Smith, Smith is the guy that'll drop back in coverage. Derby and Foster, the two leading tacklers. Hanks and Polly, Hanks is all Big Ten. You saw him make the hit a moment ago. And the safeties are efficient, wise and book. Second down, about six. He made his cutback move, and Johnson takes third down for Gerback and company. Smith pressuring the quarterback. Good roll by Gerback, and Van Dyne is close. It hurts when they pull it out of their pocket. Defense, offense. Tom Quinn, the opening last week against Michigan State. like he did right there, opening up holes for Vaughn. First down for Michigan at the 35 of Iowa. Alexander in motion. Bunch makes a spin move, and then is covered up on the play. I believe Foster from Willoughby Hills, Ohio. Eddie Leggett in motion. Desmond Howard in the flat with some blocking. They run two yards to go. by Merton. First down, Michigan just inside the Iowa 19. Gerback. Catch made by the tight end. It is second down for Michigan. Motion from wide receiver Yale Van Dyne. Yard line. He's what they did with Percy Snow in the 4-3 stunt defense. The defense was designed for him to make the tackles, and he had a bunch of them. Wishbone look in the backfield behind Gerbach. Bernie Leggett slipped and fell back at the 11 yard six in his career. Blocked on the play. Blocked by Merton Hanks, I believe. Hanks coming in from the near side, blocked it cleanly, and the Hawkeyes have absorbed the initial. Michigan offensive first of the afternoon and held the Wolverines off the board. There's also a bobble on the snap here. You can see the ball didn't get down quick enough. And because of the angle that Michigan was forced to kick that football towards the uprights, Hanks has the better angle to come in and block it. Look at him leave his feet and get his hands on it. This guy is a kick block specialist, and he is the emotional leader of this Iowa Hawkeye defense. Seventh, or they usually get off to a slow start in the first, being outscored 28 to 10. Rodgers back to throw over the middle, Titley, the tight end. Talk. Rodgers, a junior from Walpole, Massachusetts. Koyaba, the fullback. Paul Kuyava in the lineup in place of Lou Montgomery. Third down for Iowa. Nick Bell stormed back. Team's MVP against Michigan. Trip Welburn tracks this one down. Good move. Welburn with lots of running room. Santa.
Santos cut him off at the pass. Vaughn, you got to get out of the way. Second down. Off play action to Vaughn. Gerbach. Bunch is nailed in the flirt. Different story under Mulder. Gerbach to the air. Going deep. Alexander! Again, first and goal. Unless there was some movement on that. This as a voice inflection. The uh, first down. Rogers, that sideline pattern again. John Balloon back off the injury. First down for Iowa at the Michigan 42. Nick Bell. The label dump jock is carried around so often. And it's ridiculous because these guys are great students as well as great football players. Bell, ooh, down he goes. Man, he to Nick Bell. But at that point, he really wasn't thinking about that. About 12. Bell in motion. Rogers to Hughes, gets a block from Bell. Trip Welber in the all Big Ten deep on of your screen. Third down. Rogers under pressure. Dumps it off in the... About a 46-yarder. Blocked in the middle of the line. Covered by Jim Hartley, the holder, back the other 50. Covered by what was exactly this. Vader Murray and Trip Wellborn, airborne, just a good 35 inches off the ground. That's skying right there, folks. Wellborn gets his hands on the ball and blocks it. That's why that guy is the first team All-American. Michigan near the Iowa 49. Penalty markers down, may have taken too much. Dead ball, delay of the game on Michigan. Please add. Down of 15 for Michigan. Yale Van Dyne, a wide receiver in motion. Ball. He got back about five. Second down Michigan, about 10 yards to go. Gerbach setting up a screen. Drop by Ricky Powers, the true freshman. And won't improve much with an effort like that. Third down. About 10. Gerbach on the short drop, hits Howard in the seam. First down, Michigan. First down to the 36. Not 
outstanding receivers, just sophomores in this Michigan program. So is Gerbach, number 15, the quarterback, on second down. Howard was out of play. Eight yards to go. Gerbach trying to hit the seam again. That pass knocked. Only three of his kicks this year have been returned. He's going for the corner of the coffin, perhaps. No, he wanted to hit a pooch kick, and this one sails to the near side of the end zone out of nothing Michigan. Early second period of play. Play action from Rodgers. Got a man open on the sidelines. Danon Hughes has a first down. And Smith at the bottom of your screen. Hughes at the top. This is on the pass today. That ball tipped in the line. Intercepted. No. He didn't angle. That was a great effort. Alex Marshall with the effort and trying to intercept. Second and ten. Rodgers. Stewart. Tony Stewart on a game. And here. Crisp, clear, beautiful day. Michigan. Rodgers. A lot of time. Finds his man. Saunders and Michael Saunders is hurt in the yard line of Michigan. Rogers on an option. Flying at him. A little bit late. Versatile foul against Michigan. Play here earlier today. First down from the 32. Good play action by Rogers. Nice strike over the middle. Saunders inside the Michigan four. Rogers off the fake pitch. Wide open in the end zone. Dane and Hughes for the touchdown. The Herky Hawkeyes fired up now. And so are the folks who made their way over here from Iowa City. Two consecutive plays where Pays and Poisons, pay, Poise and Patience has paid off for Matt Rogers. He wanted to hit Hughes initially. Hughes was covered. He looked to another receiver and came back. That, that's pretty tough. Try to say that three times fast. <laughs> poise and Patience pays off. Try to say that after an hour at a frat party. <laughs> Skillet puts it through the upright. Swimming it a bit. Alexander. With a posse. Out here in Ann Arbor. First down of the 45. John Vaughn. Boy, he doesn't need my one. already. Jared Bunch. Nicely done. He really picked his way well off the right. Pass him to laying leather on running backs and, and return people. Second down, Michigan. You're back to Vaughn. Brought down to the open field by Doug. Gerbach and company coming right at you. Vaughn. Inside the... Bunch picking his way, waiting for the blocking, and then... Seven. Out of the wishbone. Allen Jefferson. Touchdown!
two-time Mansfield Relays 100-meter champion. He ran the fastest in that meet since Jesse Owens when he was in high school, but he's been injury-riddled through his football career here in Michigan. Allen Jefferson scores the second touchdown of the game for the Wolverines. J.D. Carlson with the point after. And Michigan's handle on the far side. And Hughes on the near side. Hughes coming up for it and going to let it hit out of bounds. Carlson's kick hooking toward the far side. Andela on the run at the 19. Gets out to the 30 and is turned back near the area. It's not coming to its fruition. First down, Rodgers to the air. Got a man wide open, Kuyaba the full. just couldn't escape to the outside on third down conversions has struggled today but they've got a third and inches no Rogers second effort I still don't think to see Bell and Stewart running but Iowa predominantly is a passing football team they've thrown the ball well for a long time Rogers you saw his numbers 10 out of 12 he's had a good day fumbles the snap picks it up Rogers trying to plow forward may have actually gotten it is close. Saunders, the lone receiver to the top of your screen. Stewart met in the hole. Anders. Tintley, the it may be worse than Sports Illustrated being on the cover. First down for the 43. Rogers gets away. Don't know where they are and get out of Rogers. Evans on the sack is in a sack situation. Second and long. Stark. Man, he got a lot trying to pick up a third and 13. Rogers changing the play at the line now. Set to go. Tim bottled and drug formation. Trying to push it into the corner. Stays in play. Take John Vaughn. Melvin Foster on the step. Michigan about five yards to go. Michigan 15. Rod Davis gathered it in. That ball came loose up into the air and it was almost catchable on the fly. It looked like Gerbach's hand got caught in here on the handoff and the ball just popped up. You could see the ball never went in there. His hand didn't pull out cleanly and the ball pulled right out Vaughn's stomach. It is a first down, Hawkeyes. The football just inside the 13 yard line. Rod Dick. Rogers. Tintley, the tight end, down to the four. Power eye for the Hawkeyes. Marvin Lampkin slipped on the turf. We've seen. Ball in motion. On a keeper, storm back at the wall. All right. Lampkin to the end zone. Time has expired in this first half, according to the scoreboard. Michigan team is heading to the locker room. The Hawkeyes are short of that goal line. That is a huge, huge mental disabling defeat last week against Michigan State. Hasn't carried over to this team in the first half. This one skips out of bounds. And the Wolverines will make the Hawkeyes do it over again.
And here's the boot by Skillet again, skipping across the 30, taken by one of the up backs, Martin Davis. And old Martin Davis out across the Michigan territory. John Paul. Leroy Smith pulled him down after a game. Second down. time they cut him off at the pass game. The defensive linemen are not supposed to make the hit. They're supposed to occupy offensive linemen. Third and four. Got his man, John Vaughn, but good run a five-yard pass batter, which is what John Vaughn did. Eddie Ascona in punt formation. Fair catch signal by Antela. Ball stays in play. Play action, Rogers to the air. Tidley, the tight end with his fourth catch. Rogers, lots of time. John Balloon out to the 35-yard line. Quarterback loves a receiver that'll come back for the ball. Rogers got a man open on the sidelines. Dane and Hughes out of bounds at the midfield. First down, Hawkeyes at the 50. Michigan in a blitz off play action. Rodgers comes up firing. Ron Ryan, number 94, not Michael Tipley, 84. Second down and 10. Rodgers. Over the middle. Kuyama. I don't think they'll take a chance on Rodgers this time. Bell for the... under heat. Pass well off the mark. Right going in the right direction. I gotta say, Fry should have been more aware of what was happening. Play action. Rogers under heat again. Got his man downfield. Allen. It's coming up on 10 minutes left to go. Third period. Kuyama. Trip Welber. Away anything downfield. Now they're not driving as deep. It is a 32-yarder. Skillet had one blocked earlier. This one, he zeroes right through the uprights. First down. Allen Jefferson. He scored the set. Second down for Michigan at about six. Jefferson runs into Matt Rowland. Makes those things hurt. Oh, they're my devils. Third down and short. Jared Bucks. And punt formation, Eddie Oscona. Just did get that kick away. Fair catch signal made by Antilla. And the wind carried it a bit. Antilla hauls it in. They trail by four points. Rogers rolling. Out across the 25 to the 26. Gain of three by Rogers on the previous play. Second down. Tony Stewart. Nabbed at the Iowa three of nine on third downs. Jim Isaac under the shadow of the flagpole here at Michigan Stadium. Blocked down the play. Scooped up by the Wolverines for the touchdown. David Ritter on the block and Dwayne Ware recovers and takes it in.
to blocking punts all day, but they haven't tried. They've been setting up returns. On a keeper, extra point attempt fails. Convert Dead ball fouls, personal, home. Dead ball, personal with visitors. The play is no good. It was dead ball. They offset. They're going to have a kickoff. J.D. Carlson's kickoff. Jeff Antella to the 20. Antella roughly taking And playing through some adversity, too. Playing through some injuries. Sure is. He's done an outstanding job thus far this season for the 5-1 Bears. Rodgers on first down under pressure again. Almost got away. Backs can't see a quarterback's eyes, thus giving them a little bit more of an advantage. Rodgers. Overshot a wide open. Paul Kuyava 10. No good. Was the one who came in and waved off the completion. Trip Welburn in single safety. Isaacs, kick, bounds across the 40. Welburn retreats back inside the 30, and down he goes. First down to the 30-yard line now for the Michigan Wolverines, who lead by 10, late third period. John Vaughn. Vaughn bounced off one would-be 10 job with the Michigan offense today. Bunch in motion. Gerbach under pressure. Slipped as he out there. Vaughn on that play slipped. Otherwise, he might have had a lot more yards. Gerbach's pass is knocked down. He has gone up. Punt formation. Antilla, fair catch signal, makes the catch near the 33. Iowa's got to score two touchdowns to win the football game. From the 33, first down, Hawkeyes. Rodgers outlets. Nick Bell ran into him. Dead ball. Push the ball. Defense. Automatic first down. We'll get a look at it here. You guys' body, you're going to get that call. T.J. Osmond, the guilty party. The football moves out to the 48-yard line of Iowa. Rodgers on a short set. Good pickup by Saunders and a gain of nine yards. He's head, making his receivers work hard. Bell in motion. Rodgers going exclusively to the air. Now going to take it himself. Down to the 30 go. Now the run from Bell. And the Burley tap Michigan this week. Iowa on a second down. Inside the Michigan 30. Nick Bell. Rumbling forward for the play action to Bell. Second down for Iowa. Rodgers, lots of time now. Rodgers going to take it himself. He's got a first down. Well, no. First down. Nick Bell. Inside the five. It is first. Look at the yardage differential. Iowa first and goal. Was off guard. He scored. He will put the penalty on the kickoff. Skillet for the point after. And the Iowa Hawkeyes back on the board. They should get on first down. Allen Jefferson breaks free. First down out to the 30 yard line after all. It was looking like a scourge earlier today. From the 30, first and 10, Michigan. Jefferson. Allen Jefferson came into the game with Jefferson and Bunch. The running back tandem in the eye behind Gerbach. Allen Jefferson. Met on the flank quickly. Third down, Gerbach back to throw. 
takes it back. Still looking. Throws it. And Tilly back deep. Eddie Oscona. Hawkeyes are coming after it. Olenzak almost got it. And Tilla shielding his eyes. First down, Hawks. Kuyaba outside catches for 34 yards for Kuyaba, the fullback. Stewart trying to get around the corner, cannot. Trip Welburn. Third down, Hawkeyes. Receiver couldn't get over. High snap to Isaac. It's off a beautiful punt. Welburn. Is off one defender, Marvin Lampkin, and then is taken down. Three point ball game. Jefferson. He's doing a pretty good imitation. Second down, two yards to go. Jefferson. For a big hole off the left side of the offense. Second down. All guys on a blitz. Jefferson has the hole up the middle. Melvin Foster back in the line of for Iowa. Take a look at the first down situation. From the 37. Jefferson. This time the Hawkeyes blow to the ball. Yale Van Dyne in motion. Gerbach. Screens it out, Jefferson. Now to Volkswagen. Time becoming a big factor. Michigan leads by three with 5-10 to go. Third and two, Wolverines. They are four of 11 on third downs. Jefferson, no. Rather than by three. 47-yard field goal attempt as long as 48. Carlson sends it to the uprights, and it is. Gone down to the wire. Many. Carlson's kickoff. Good leverage into this one. Antilla from the two. Cut off at the 15. Great. Rogers. Kuyama. Brought down short of the 20th of the night. Hawkeyes have three minutes, three timeouts left, and 3.42 to go. Rogers. Nice catch by Smith. Michigan by six. First down, Iowa. Dropped on the play. Allen Cross could not have. David Key in the coverage. Wellborn was bearing in on the quarterback along with Rakowski. And when you see Trip Wellborn rushing the quarterback, you know Michigan is taking a chance, taking one of their best coverage people out of coverage and letting him rush the quarterback. He's a good enough athlete that he can do that, but Michigan is trying to do some things to make Rodgers make a bad play. Malone and Saunders are the wide receivers. down Hawkeyes just inside the 47 of Michigan Rogers Balloon. first down of the third guys draw play Stewart they may break it for a first down to the 15 yard the 13. Rogers. Stewart. First down and goal to go. Thing on the door. First and goal. Kuyama. Touchdown. And we are tied. with 
69 seconds remaining. And remember back to the fake try attempt for two, the fake kick where they snapped the ball sideways and they didn't get it into the end zone. You have to wonder if that was something called at the line or if that was a coaching decision. Skillet. And the Iowa. Call of magic. Squid kick. Alexander near the seven. To the 20. Alexander brought down short of the 30 yard. Jefferson and Bunch are the backfield behind Gerbach. Hit by Santos and there he goes. Rod Davis and Moses Santos collaborate on the sack and it has Roses if they get out of here with a victory. Gerbach back to throw. Good protection this time. Intercepted by John Derby. John Derby's going to put this one away. seconds left is doubly disappointed. I will just sit on it again. Michigan cannot stop the clock. Final seconds are ticking away. Into the first half. The fake now field goal. This is in the third quarter. This is after the block punt for a touchdown. The question is, was this a call for the sidelines or was this something that the players did because they thought they saw something? in the race for the Roses. I'm winding down on this one. Hayden Fry and Iowa spoiled homecoming in Ann Arbor for the first time in 23 years. The Iowa Hawkeyes go to 3-0 and in conference play. Michigan falls to 3-3 and overall. 1-2 and in the conference and Gary Mulder and company had some big problems to deal with from here on in. Michigan on homecoming. So long, everybody.